What happens on our journey, I don't know. But one thing I do know is this. We're sticking to the road less traveled. If you comb through the banks along the Ganges, you'll get the expected holy river scene. People praying, doing rituals, taking a dip and bathing. But then we come across something quite unique. These gyms specialize in an ancient form of wrestling called kushti. The wrestlers are known as palawans. The palawans are just starting their day. They have no idea what kind of trouble is walking through the door. Wrestling? Ah, sure. No wrestle. I'm game. Let's go. You want to go? Let's go. <laughs> this guy might have a gut like Brutus, but he has arms like Popeye. As soon as I feel his Terminator grip, I know I'm in trouble. The last guy, well, I had a glimmer of hope. This dude, I'm not gonna budge. I feel like a kid wrestling his dad. Something tells me if I couldn't beat the middleweight, I'm not gonna meet the heavyweight. <laughs> he decides to rub it in after taking me down, so I try to throw a Brazilian jiu-jitsu triangle on him. Yeah, I don't really know jiu-jitsu, but I try. Maybe if I can submit one of these guys, I'll salvage some pride. But I gotta get that leg a little more, almost, oh, oh no, he drives my head into the ground and I'm forced to release it. Well, this guy beat my ass, absolutely. His grip is like a, a wrench. I mean, I, I could tell from the minute he put his hand on my wrist, I was done. I don't like to concede easily, but there's no way I was gonna beat this guy. Actually, I think we were talking about this earlier. I really think the reason why I lost the first match is I didn't have enough dirt on me. It seems to be the secret of the success. It's like uh, Samson's hair. I was Samson without the hair. First match, no dirt. Problem. That's why. <laughs> now I'm strong. Well, nothing beats getting tossed in your head and getting a mouthful of dirt in the morning. It beats a cup of tea and eggs any day for breakfast. When they're not fighting, this bunch is a blast to hang out with. They're funny, and they're more than happy to talk shop. I've started a commotion. I brought up the subject whether the biggest badass in, in this Indian wrestling, whether he could beat Bruce Lee. And now there's a big debate going on in the circle about who would win this fight. No, they're, both, they're, they're both sides are arguing the merits. Bruce Lee's got faster kicks, hits harder. Yeah, but Gama could get him on the ground and hold him down. And, you know, it's going back and forth. I gotta say, that was an exhausting experience. I thought I could hold my own, and, and I gotta say, I'm proud that I, I scored a point on the gold medal champion, although he, he owned me. And, and his brother owned me, and his father, I couldn't even get up when he held me down, so I don't have a lot to brag about. But it was fun, and these guys were all cool, and they threw dirt on me as a sign of affection. What's the best thing to do when you're covered in dirt? Liquefy that dirt by dipping into one of the most polluted rivers in the world. I'm gonna be a sore bastard tomorrow, but what a treat it was to roll in the ancient wrestling art. I learned a tactic or two from these pros. As is with everything else that is rooted deep in the past, this sport is on the decline. But it's good to see a dedicated few are still carrying the torch.